Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my 2020 planner lineup. So I have all of my planners here. I have three planners for next year, which I have three planners right now. But right now I have a mini, a classic, and a big. But all of these are classic. So I decided to um, just go with that for the year. Um, I'm really excited. I'm hoping these work out really good for me and I'm, you know, trying some new stuff. So, what I have is the first one is my catch all planner, and this is an 18 month planner. So, I'm just gonna take out the first six months. I'm not gonna use them, but I will use them for something else. I'll tell you about that in just a second. Um, but this is going to be my catch-all planner and I love the rose gold everywhere and the disc and everything else. And then this planner is going to be for my social media. It is also an 18 month planner. I am going to take out the first six months. And this planner is a horizontal layout where everything's going like this. So it's kind of like the mini but it's bigger than the mini. It's a classic size in the horizontal layout. So I will be using this one for social media since my mini is for social media right now. And I'm just going to continue using the horizontal layout for that. And then the last one, as you can tell, is a teacher planner. It is 12 months and it start, started in August and goes to July of next year. But I'm going to make this into my student planner because I really wanted the teacher layout but I'm going to change some stuff around in it the cover is going to go some of the dividers are going to go and I'm going to redate a lot of stuff so this is going to be my project planner for the year that's what I'm calling it my project planner so this will be for my school stuff and everything else that has to do with that and I'm really excited because I've been wanting the teacher layout and I will go ahead and say that all of these planners came from Joann's and because they are already it's already a few months into these planners they marked these planners down and I got these planners for under nine dollars a piece that is a steal for happy planners so I could not pass up the deal and I figured the first two are 18 month planners there's a whole year left in these planners so if you guys ever find planners that are cheap and you can get through a whole year with them like these two they're already dated and everything so they're they're ready to go get them especially if you like them get them because you know you won't be disappointed I promise but also another reason why I get them so cheap like this is because the teacher planner I've never tried it out and I don't want to spend a lot of money for something that I may not use for the rest of the year so really next semester I'm gonna be trying out this teacher planner and if I don't like it then I'm just not gonna use it anymore and I know that may seem like a waste in planner but I'd rather waste nine dollars compared to thirty dollars or more so that's my thinking on it some people may not think the same but I love a good deal so that's why I went with these but I'm going to show you guys flip throughs of all of them so you can see what every single one looks like all right so here is my classic catch-all planner this is going to be for everything else that does not relate to school or um, social media. So everything else will go in here. This will probably be my most used planner. So yeah, um, I fell in love with the rose gold discs and the cover. I really wish I had like rose gold metal discs, but these are plastic and I really wish they were metal. I want some metal discs. So I may change out for some metal discs, but either way, I love it and it's just so pretty to me. It's pink with the rose gold and I just really like it. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and flip into it. And the back of the cover is this um, black brush look with some white polka dots. And here is the um, hello page where you write your name. And then there's the year at a glance pages, 2019, 2020. And then we get into the monthly area. So this is for July. This is probably, I wanna keep the year at a glance thing, but I'm gonna have to do, with, do something with that. So, cause I'm taking the first three months out. So July through the December of 2019 will no longer be in here after today pretty much. So I'll figure out what to do with this and I'll let you guys know what I do. And so I'm just gonna go through and kinda show you guys how this is. And this is a vertical layout. So this is July, and it's got little quotes down here at the bottom. And like I said, this will not be used. So here is the divider for August. Here is September, October, November, December, and then we get into January, and this is where my planner will start. So more than likely, this page will be taped onto the July page. So this will not be here, but it'll be on there. That way when I flip from the year to glance, I can go straight into um, January. And one thing I do like about these pages is the little quotes that they have each um, month. This says, it says, take care of your, no, take care of you first. And it says, organize. Keep your mental and physical spaces organized. So it's got little bitty quote things that you can look at throughout your month. So this is the January um, divider. And here is February. And then there's March, April, May, June, July, August, September. I don't know how well you can see that one, but it's like silver foil, I think. October. November. And December. That looks like a Christmassy. That just looks like a little wreath. So it, it fits this um, planner. Now my page doesn't want to come up. There it goes. And then here is the back of the inside, little notes page, and the back of the book. If you guys, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but there's little sticky residue from the packaging that comes on these. If you guys know a way to get this stuff off, let me know because I cannot get this stuff off and it really bothers me with it being on there. So let me know what you guys do for all of that stuff because I don't like the stickies. So here is my second happy planner that I'll be using this year. It is a horizontal layout and the cover says more 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 happy. It's, it's black and white with gold and this theme is all throughout this planner. The discs are really cool with the black and the white. So yeah I just really like the black and the gold in this planner. And honestly, you will see why I fell in love with this to begin with, because I just, I love it. So here is the inside. The cover right here pulls in the black and white theme. But this is what I fell in love with, you guys. I'm a sucker for buffalo plaid. It is my favorite little, my favorite pattern. Granted, I do like the red and black more. But I still love the buffalo plaid and it's just, it's so pretty to me. 
so I just love it. And this one is also an 18 month planner. So it does have the first six months in it that will be taken out. So there's the first page. And then here's the monthly view, or not monthly, the yearly, year at a glance page. That's what I was trying to say for 2019 and 2020. And then this will be gone. And of course the first six months will be. So here is July. Here's August. Oh, let me show you guys. Oh, I never noticed those flowers. This is the um, horizontal layout. Just like the minis, but bigger. So I use this right now for social media. So I'm just going to stick with the layout for social media and hope it works and I have more room to write stuff from social media. So that's why I chose this planner. And then here's September, October, November, December, and then we get into where I will be starting the planner, which is January. This will be put on the July page. We'll glue that down and cover that up, and then we'll start here. So here's January, February, March, April, that's so pretty, and it's perfect for my birthday month, May, which mimics the front cover, June, which I love, that is so pretty, I love that plaid, oh I just love it so much. July, August, September, October, November, and December. And then, why don't these things like to come up? And go to the back, and there's the notes page with more plaid. And the back cover and then there we go that's the very back so this will be used for social media and I'm really happy and excited to try it out um, so yeah I do have experience with the horizontal spread but this one you know will be a little bit more different because it's bigger so you know maybe I can put more stickers in here because you know right now my minis don't get to see very many stickers they see stickers but not as much as my classic does so maybe I can add more stickers in here to um, add more decoration to my spreads so yeah um, now I need to get to the next planner alright so here is my teacher planner for 2019 and 2020 um, but it's not going to be a teacher planner. I'm not a teacher, I'm a student. So I'm going to use it as a student planner, but I really like the layout of the teacher planner versus the student layout, because to me it looks like it has more room and I write a lot of stuff in my planners that I use for school. So I definitely need that room. So since I'm going to read data, I'm probably gonna read date August, through December because uh, as far as well all the weekly spreads will be redated so the monthly spreads will have to be redated from August to December but this cover is gonna go away I have another cover that I'm gonna put on it so um I'll get to that in a different video but I'm gonna put a different cover on it so this will be gone and this is the inside of it and I'm gonna take this out I don't need it even though then again I don't like this number one but so I'm not gonna keep it but I may need something that does have my name on it just in case it gets lost so that is going to leave that's gonna leave this is gonna leave unless I figure out a way to redo it um, 
No, it is going to leave because I'm going to cover that part up with something. So we have the August um, currently page. And then here is the divider for August. I don't like this. So what I'm going to do, I have six months in each of my other two planners that I do not need and I'm not going to use. So those dividers will be used to cover up the ones in this planner that are too teachery. Some of them I can keep, but this one, that's just, I don't like it. So I'm going to cover it up and change it up for this planner. That way I can make it more for what I'm using it for. So this will be covered up with one of those dividers. And like I said, I'll go through and pretty much white out everything on here except yeah I'm gonna have to write white out that August can stay but the 2019 and the numbers have to go and I got to cover that up and I'm just gonna redate everything on it so it's not a big deal I don't mind doing it I pretty much dated my whole big happy planner for school so I might as well keep redating stuff <laughs> um, and then we get into the teacher layout so this that may have to be covered up where it says July, August. Honestly, I really don't like when they do that. Like, I feel like if it's in the August divider, everything needs to say August. Do not put July or the next month or anything else. It's just August, in my opinion, but that's just me. So what I'm gonna do with this, what a lot of people do with the teacher layout, they, um, they cover up this side. So I'm gonna take some colorful boxes and cover each day up since it says Monday through Friday and I really like to have Monday through Saturday so then it'll start from Monday and then no through Sunday go through Sunday up at the top so I'll date everything up here cover these up and then each line will be a subject and I think I'll have five classes for next semester so all of these will be filled up and then each day you know I'll write in what stuff I need to do for that and so that's gonna just occur throughout the whole planner for the weekly spread so the weekly spreads will not be Monday through Friday they're gonna always be Monday through Sunday so this will be changed around every week and then we get into September I really like this spread this um oh I will be keeping that um, I really like that so I'm gonna keep it because it says you are making a difference every day so that's you know that's good and I'll redo this stuff because I don't need student birthdays and I'll cover up 2019 and um, you know just kind of get rid of that stuff and make everything better equipped for what I'm using it for and then October since it says teacher on it I have to get rid of that November that's talking about teacher stuff that's got to go and then December that's gonna go because it says teacher um, and then January which is when it's gonna start so like these months will come to the back and I gotta figure out how to do this I really like this mint that's a pretty color so I gotta figure out how to do that which you guys will be following along with it because I'm going to show you what I'm doing with it because I'm going to like I said I'll be franken planning a lot in here so we'll just see how that works out which then again I may not need to we'll figure it out we just go as we go this I can keep if I haven't said that already this one I love it says my brain has too many tabs open that is so true for students so I'm gonna keep that one March says something about students so I got to get rid of it this one it doesn't say student stuff and it doesn't say teacher stuff I get it but I feel like it's just not it's not me so this will probably disappear and then we have a May that's got to go June this can stay it says how you finish is how is what they will remember so that's fine and then this one 
has to go. It's cute, but it still has to go because I don't need it. And then there's a checklist back here. Well, you have like a little, a little notes thing. But then there's a checklist. So this checklist, I'm going to take out of here and I'm probably gonna cover up this divider because I don't really like the crayons, but it'll still say checklist. So it's for teachers. It says classroom checklist and then it's got names and all sorts of stuff over here. That's probably gonna be covered up and I'm going to use this like Heather Kell used it for her social media. So I'm going to actually take this out of this planner and put it into my social media planner. So that's where all of these will go because I can actually use it for that and it'll work out and you know work for me. So here's the back of it. Again, it'll be gone and I you know, I just really like the inside of it. So you guys will see how I'll be Franken planning this and basically using this as a project planner um so yeah so now that you guys have seen my entire 2020 planner lineup let me know what you guys think in the comments below and you know if you have any tips on franken planning please you know leave them there because I've never done this before so it's gonna be new to me and you guys can follow along with that so if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button 